Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing another grocery haul with you guys. I am now on day 10 of Whole30 and we just went to Costco, Sprouts, Aldi, and Walmart and got quite a few things. Um, we have some fun recipes planned for this week coming up. So as always, I will go ahead and share with you what we have planned for our meals and I will let you know where everything's from. Most of this stuff is Whole30 compliant, but there are some things in here that are not Whole30 compliant that are for my kids, so I will also specify those. If you're interested in seeing what I got, just keep on watching. All right, so here is the overview of everything that we got today at the grocery store. Like I said, we have some exciting meals planned for this week, but they also um, had some ingredients that we didn't have. So we got quite a lot of stuff. We actually ended up picking up more stuff than was even on our list that was on sale um, that we can use for the next week. So um, I guess I will start back here with the stuff that we got from Walmart. So we got some more um, slaw mix. The slaw mix is really good. I threw it this morning in with my eggs and it's also just really easy to have on the side as a salad or to steam up real quick. And then um, we also got this stir fry kit and it came with the sauce, which we are not gonna use because it is not Whole30 compliant. However, the veggies and stuff in it looked really good. So we got those two as an easy vegetable. And then we got some fire roasted tomatoes. These are for um, a recipe this week. We are having egg roll in a bowl one week or one day, California burrito bowl, curry soup, Greek chicken salad, uh, Swedish meatballs, and there was something, oh, sausage balls. So that's the meals that we have planned this week. Our anniversary is coming up on Monday, so we thought egg roll in a bowl sounded good. And then I just wanted to try some more fun recipes. So we got fire roasted tomatoes for one of those. Um, we got Kalamata olives for the Greek salad. We found this chorizo seasoning at Walmart. It is not Whole30 approved, I don't think. There's an ingredient in there I need to look up. Um, but we got it for afterwards. And we found this chipotle chili pepper for one of the recipes. Oh, that's what this stuff is for. Um, I'm going to be making a copycat chicken a copycat chipotle chicken because we tried chipotle's new whole 30 bowls yesterday and they were really good so i'm going to try that and put that on our california burrito bowls um, we also picked up some sun-dried tomatoes to put in our greek salad and we got some lemongrass this is for the curry soup we got some ancho chili and we got some pork. The pork is for the egg roll in a bowl. So that is everything that we got from Walmart. And then we'll go ahead and move on to Aldi. So from Aldi, we picked up a couple of kombuchas, a few that sounded good. Um, we got this dried fruit medley. This is not Whole30 approved. You can have fruit on Whole30, but it's supposed to be moderation. But we got this for our kids. And we got some car car oranges, a cucumber for the Greek salad, some mushrooms for the curry soup. Um, we found this turkey bone broth that looked pretty good. So my husband is going to try that. We got some peeled garlic. We got some bananas, jalapenos. I've been really enjoying throwing jalapenos in our eggs. Um, just mixing them in with our onions and our peppers with our sausages. So we got a bag of jalapenos. Um, I also picked up a bunch of avocados and tomatoes. And I'm going to make a guacamole to go on top of the burrito bowl. And I'm also going to make a pico de gallo to go on top. We also got some garlic, whole garlics. Um, we got some green onions and some cilantro the cilantro is for the salsa and we got this pork sausage this is going to be for the sausage balls that we're going to have one night and a big bag of potatoes so that is every oh and we also got limes this is also for the salsa and the guacamole um red onions and fiji apples and a spaghetti squash so that is everything 
that we got from Aldi. I just remembered another meal we're going to be having is a shrimp Alfredo on spaghetti squash. So the next store is going to be Sprouts. This is everything that we got from Sprouts. And we'll go ahead and start back here. We got a few teas. We got this matcha maker. We got another one of these sweet and spicy. It is my favorite. Um, we also found this sweet and spicy goodnight tea. So we got all of those. We got some avocado oil. A bunch of sweet potatoes. We got some more almond butter. We found this uh, curtido. It's like a slaw. And we tried their coleslaw, or not their coleslaw, um, sauerkraut. It's like sauerkraut. We tried their sauerkraut last week and it was really, really good. And so I got this because I thought we could throw it on different things just to spice it up. We got some more nut pods. I picked up a jicama. I've actually never had jicama, so we're going to try that out. I thought it would be good. Um, my son tried it at school and said it was really good, so we're going to try that out. And then we went to Costco. So the rest of the stuff is from Costco. We got these organic chicken sausage links. Um, I'm actually in a couple Whole30 groups and somebody mentioned these and that they're really good So I thought we would go ahead and try those I also got a big bag of riced cauliflower because as you guys saw last week I was looking for riced cauliflower and I ended up picking up cauliflower that was mixed with other veggies Which I thought was fine at the time and then I realized that it had corn and peas which both aren't allowed on Whole30 So I picked up this instead um, we also found these garlic and jalapeno olives. They just sounded really good as a fat, so we picked some of those up to go with our lunches. We found these beef snack sticks um, that were compliant, which was really exciting because we've been looking for some kind of um, beef stick and we weren't able to find any, so I'm excited to try these. We also got some bubbly. We were actually going to get LaCroix um, but the bubbly was cheaper and it said it has the same ingredients, so we're going to go ahead and give that a try. We picked up some more olives. We've been going through these pretty fast um, as just an easy plated fat. We also picked up some more Adele's chicken and, chicken and apple sausage. Um, I like to have these because it's a quick dinner if we end up running out of time or one of the meals that we're supposed to make doesn't work out like it did last week, um, then we can just throw these on and cook them up real quick with some onions and peppers and we've got a quick meal. We also found these um, sausages, these Polish, Polish sausages that looked really good. So we're gonna try these as well. I think we might actually have those for lunch today. And then we got a bunch more of ground beef and we got pork chops. Pork chops was not something that was on my list, but they were on sale. And so I thought that this would be something good to have for next week. So that is everything we got at the store today. Um, hopefully this will last us. It'll last us all of this week and hopefully most of our meals next week. And then we'll only have to do one more Whole30 grocery shop after that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one.